right, boys and girls, it is a requirement that you do or complete a reader's literacy notebook. Okay, you must record your books, your 11 books that you were supposed to read and, and do a one word response. A lot of you have not completed that. That is a 60% grade. The other thing is everything that we read each week, you need to make a response. And a lot of you are not going in your interact in your literacy notebooks and doing anything in there. That's not being done. Okay, and this is something that I told you you had to do at the beginning of each nine weeks. But for whatever reason, you guys do not follow directions. Some of you, many of you don't. There's a few of you that try, but this has to be done. So from now on, we are doing what's called a read to write response. And I'll set it up as a Google Doc, Google Slides for you to fill out or respond to. So these are the two texts we did this week. We did um, Donut Deal. And we also read Zap, these two passages. Okay. And we're going to complete the Venn diagram. And then we're going to come over here and write a paragraph comparing the two texts. Now, you don't copy me. I'm just modeling. But you have to come up with your own paragraph. And if you copy me, you don't get credit for it. I'm just modeling to show you what you need to do. All right. So I'm going to read this article here, which I've already read. And you should have read, too. But it was about um, Eli woke up at 6.45 a.m. and dashed into his room. Okay, I'm not going to read the whole thing. Uh, him and his sister, they had planned out all sorts of activities that they were going to do for their vacation. Um, and their mom wanted them to eat a healthy breakfast. But the children came up with a plan during breakfast and they made a deal with their mom. Okay, for one week, they wanted to be able to eat um whatever they wanted okay so the mother agreed to allow them to choose whatever they wanted to eat for one week okay towards the middle of the uh story they weren't feeling good because they were filling up on chocolate candy cereal and donuts okay they stayed clear of fruits and vegetables by the middle of the of the vacation they didn't feel like going outside to play or ride their bikes. Um, they just weren't feeling good. Okay. So they came up with a new plan at the end. They weren't ready to give up junk food completely, but they were ready to start eating real food again. Okay. So their mother served them chicken and broccoli at the end and they ate a dessert. They ended up splitting a donut and washed it down with a glass of milk. So they learned their lesson about, not filling up on junk food, but eating healthy. Okay, this other article was called Zap. I should say fictional text was called Zap. And there's there's this little boy, the narrator here, that's telling the story. He is playing a game and he's been up all night, been playing since breakfast. And um, his friend, Jason, wants to go fishing. Okay, but he keeps playing the game and... Um, He's not even eating. You know, the dad offered him some ice cream and he did. He was busy playing the game. He didn't even want the, the double fudge ice cream, which was his favorite. OK, at the end of the story, um, he realizes that it had gotten late and he decides to go fishing um, with his friend. He, and he hoped that his friend was still there and he turned the game off. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to complete this Venn diagram. How are we going to do it? We're going to compare and contrast the characters, the setting, the problem, the solution, the plot, and the theme, okay, from each story. The characters, who are the people in the story, the setting, where the story takes place, the problem, um, what was the goal or the problem the characters face, solution, how they solve the problem, the plot, what happens in the story, and then the theme, what was the message in the story, okay? So I already started and I said the characters in this first story um, were Eli and Alexis and can't forget their mom, Eli, Alexis, 
and mom. In the other story, we had the boy, the dad, and Jason. So two boys and a dad. Okay, the setting um, in Donut Deal, the story starts off in the sister's room. It may move to the kitchen because they're eating breakfast. Okay. All right. And they probably did ride their bikes and play outside. So that's what I'm going to put for the setting over here. Okay. Sister's room. Um, the kitchen to eat breakfast outside. Okay. In Zap, the story takes place um, maybe in the living room or the boys room where he's playing a game. So I'm going to say the living room. Um, and then he wanted to go fishing. So I'm going to say uh, at the pond, living room in the pond. Okay. And then the problem, okay, the problem in Donut Deal, the children, the children, I should say kids, want it, want it to eat junk food for a week, okay? Problem is the kids wanted to eat junk food for a week and they ended up getting sick. Okay. And got sick. Let me see if I can add that. And got sick. Hey, this is really best to shrink this. See, I'm clicking this on this side to shrink the text for the overflow so that the boxes don't get any bigger, which is what happened here. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can resize those, make them back smaller the way they were. Okay, yeah, resize this one too. Okay, move it all back over here. Okay, I don't want them too big. And then this one, let's resize it because it, all the information was fitting in there. Okay, so that was the problem. Kids wanted to eat junk food for a week and got sick. So the solution, um, they ate, ate healthy, ate healthy food, ate healthy food, ate healthy food and less, less junk. Okay. Let's make that smaller again. There we go. All right, and then the plot, what happens in the story? Okay, we have that information, the plot. Children, change, eating plan. Okay, I'll just say that they changed their eating plan. Let's make this smaller, okay? And the thing, what is the message that they learn? Hmm. Not to eat, eat healthy. Yeah, eat healthy. That's the, eat healthy. That's the theme there, eat healthy. Okay. And then over here, we have the setting. Okay, the problem was the little boy played his game too much, played his game too much, okay? He didn't take a break from it too much. He played it too much, okay? Oh, let's move it up a little bit, shrink that a little bit here, okay? We did that, and let's do these as well. Okay. Shrink the text there. Okay, and then we've got this one up here to do. 
Okay. So you see how I'm doing this. I'm going back to the stories and I'm looking at the information here. Okay. Let's make this one smaller. Shrink text to overflow. Uh oh, too small. There we go. All right. So that was his problem. He, the little boy played his game too much. Now, it's always good to go back and read, make sure you have it right. So let's see here at the end here. Let's see. The little boy says he's been playing since breakfast, two o'clock. I didn't realize it gotten to be that late. But I guess you're probably right. I have been playing for quite a while, his dad said. Uh, you know, fishing does sound like fun. After all, I hope Jason is still at our usual spot in the pond. Power off. So he powers off the game because he realizes he's been on it too long and he goes to be with his friend. Okay, so the solution, his dad, all right, so yeah, he realizes he's been playing too much. Okay, solution, the boy realizes he's been on the game too long okay the boy realizes realizes on the game on the video game too long and powers off to go fishing okay And then plot, we can just basically say child playing game too much, playing child playing game too much in the beginning, child playing game too much at first, in the end gets off to go to go fishing with a friend okay and we need to make that shrink so let's move it in Let's see. Let's delete this box out of here. And the writing is here. So let's shrink this. All right, it should shrink for me. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. All right, and so what's the what's the theme? Do not play video games too much. Okay. Let's put the text box here. Don't spend too much time playing video games. All right, so we have that. Let me shrink this. Shrink it. Okay, it's shrinking. Let's shrink it the other way though. Okay. And I know my text boxes are different sizes. That's because of what I'm typing in there. All right, so now you need to write what's in the middle, okay? How are they the same? How are the texts the same? Okay, the children, well, they both are the same because the children, children have their own, their own ideas, okay? One, one about video games, the others about eating, um, eating food. Okay, uh, they have their own ideas. Uh, a lesson is learned. They both learn. They both learn a lesson. Okay, in Donut Deal, they learn to eat healthy. In Zap, learn not to play so many video games. Okay, uh, both stories have children in them. Okay, both stories take place part of it at at a house. 
okay? Both stories, uh, part, of, part of it takes place in a home, okay? So you see I have, I put here how they're the same and how they're different, okay? So now what I need to do now is come up with my paragraphs now. So I've come up with two anchor charts here and you can use this to help you. Both, and you, you see the lines, both blank and blank have many things in common. One similarity is, another one is, they also share blank. Okay, you don't have to use all of these. Okay, but you just need to do a response. And then how are they different? The two are also very different. So you need to tell me one way they're the same, one way they're different. Okay, so this can be a three to four paragraph of response. So I'm going to start here. And I'm going to say, not that I'm necessarily using that to help me, but I'm going to use that anchor chart. And I'm going to put um, both, both texts are similar. Both texts are similar in a few ways. First, they both, first, they both have children that have their own ideas. First, they both have children that have their own ideas about food and gaming, okay? Let's see what else I put. Okay, I said they both learn a lesson, okay? I'm just going to say one. Okay. Both texts are similar in, in a few ways. I said a few ways. First, they both have children. They have their own ideas about food and gaming. Second, second, they both, they both um, have a house as, as the setting. Second, they both have a house as a setting, okay? Now, and it's almost like I'm doing two paragraphs, really, but I, I guess I am, okay? Both texts are similar in a few ways. First, they both have children that are, okay? Now, I can make this into one. Both texts are similar and different, and different in a few ways, okay? First, they both have children that have their own ideas about food and gaming. Second, they both have a house as the setting. Okay, then I can say here, on the other hand, they are different too. And here's the different anchor chart here you can use. How are they different? The two are also very different. On the other hand, they are different too. On the other hand, the two texts are different. On the other hand, on the other hand, the two texts are different. Are different too. Okay. How are they different? Okay. In one story, they learn a lesson about eating healthy. And in the other story, uh, the child learns a lesson about spending too much time playing games. Okay. All right. So I can put that here. On the other hand, the two texts are different too. Okay. One difference. One difference is, one difference is, one difference is donut deal talks about, one difference is donut deal, a one difference is in donut deal, in donut deal, one difference is in donut deal, the children, one difference is in Donut Deal, the children 
eat too much junk food. One difference is in donut deal, the children eat too much junk food, whereas in Zap, the little boy plays too much video games, too much video games. So now I can do my conclusion here. I could do another difference, but I don't need to. That's that's enough. Okay. So I can read what I have. Both texts are similar and different in a few ways. First, they both have children that have their own ideas about food and gaming. Second, they both have a house as a setting. On the other hand, the two texts are different too. One difference is in Donut Deal, the children eat too much junk food, whereas in Zap, the little boy plays too much video games. Now I can do my little conclusion. And I can use in conclusion to summarize, as you can see, now you know. Okay, I can use one of those sentence starters and I can put, now, now you know how the two texts are similar. Now you know how the two sex, now you know how the two texts are similar and different. Period. Okay, and that's how you would do that. So I'm gonna stop sharing, and you need to do this. Please do not copy me. All right, stop sharing.